This is always how my morning starts with kitties of some sort <laughs> on top of me. And jealous one in the background. <laughs> and he will not stop making me pet him, so that's the difference. He just went all last night, just lots and lots of pets. Our sweet baby boy. Outfit of the day. Um, but I do have a glucose test today. The three hour one, because I failed the first one. Lovely. Can't wait. Um, so I'm just wearing cozy, comfy, aligned leggings. Literally the only thing that I've been able to wear this, since like week 18-ish. Um, and I have just a black tank top on. And then this um, cardigan, which I love, but it gets me so fuzzy. But I'm willing to look past it today and just be that person that has lint everywhere because it's like where you're wearing a blanket. If I'm going to be in the hospital for three hours, I want to be in a blanket. So there's what you have. And then I have my baby bag, diaper bag, because I'm putting my computer and like other stuff in it. So I've already got a head start on using that. Anyways, let's, let's go. I just woke up because I had a fast for this and I figured I'm going to go immediately from waking up because I'm going to be hangry. We'll see how this happens. <sighs> just got home from the hospital. Well, okay, not really. I went to the hospital. If any of you have ever done a glucose test before, the three hour one, this was my first time. <laughs> I, uh, didn't know what I was getting into. So basically, if you've never done it, you go in, you check in, um, you go and get your first blood draw. So you end up getting your blood drawn on four different... Why do I keep looking at like the stop button? You're over here. You do your blood four times. So you go in, do it before you drink anything, and then they'll give you your sugar drink. It's 100 grams this time. The first one, your first test, at least mine was only 50 grams. So... um it basically still tastes the same, but it has 100 grams of sugar in it, which is so much. I don't think I've ever had a drink with that much sugar in it. Maybe I have. I don't know how much pop has, but when I was little, I'm sure I've had something like that. Um, I don't, like, people complain about it and say it's the grossest thing I've ever tasted. I don't think it is. It literally just tastes like, like, watered-down sugar, you know? Not as thick as you would think sugar would be just melted, obviously. That would be very thick. Um, it's just watered down. And then she gave me lemon lime, which supposedly is the best flavor. I didn't mind the orange flavor from the first test. Lemon lime just had like that fake lemon lime taste to it. So that was fine. Um, I started feeling sick definitely afterwards, uh, and hungry. So I was like, I don't know if I'm hungry or if I need to puke this up, but I did not puke because I'm not sure what have, would have happened had I done that. Like, I'm sure I would have mess the test up so I got through all of it and because I was in hospital like I was just in and out of the waiting room which kind of sucked because the chairs were very uncomfy so you're in there I was there for like three and a half hours total but overall it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be and she told me if you feel really bad um that's usually a sign at least from what they've seen of like you um probably have gestational diabetes but if you're fine which I don't know if I was fine. Like, I did feel sick. So I don't know what category I'd be in. Um, then normally, normally uh, you don't have it. So I don't know. I think the biggest thing is if you have it, then you have to live like you have diabetes for the next, well, you do have it for the next three months, but then it goes away. So um, a lot of like checking your blood sugar and your diet is like dramatically different. At least mine would be. Not dramatically, but like, a lot different. I've looked it up. <laughs> and then um, I think baby has to get checked afterwards. I don't know how many times, but like that would not be pleasant for them and probably sad to see as like a, definitely a first time mom, any time mom. Um, so I'm hoping that obviously I'm hoping I don't have it. Uh, but she said we'll find out tomorrow. And I have a doctor appointment on Wednesday. So like regardless, I'll find out this week. <sighs> glad that's over and then we went to I so Randall picked me up I went by myself but then Randall picked me up because I was like I'm gonna be hangry um you have to take me immediately to like breakfast so we went to IHOP 
and I had the multigrain pancakes with sugar-free syrup because I'm like, you know, I should probably not put any more sugar in my body today. <laughs> and then um, we got stuck in the IHOP parking lot for an hour after we ate, like we said, sitting there in the parking lot because the food truck delivery guy was sitting there and apparently there was no back area to go. And like, he obviously wasn't going to move. It was a big semi truck. So we were there for an hour. <laughs> and then we went to, oh, a thrift store right next door to IHOP, which is like one of my favorite thrift stores here. It's kind of expensive, but they have like awesome stuff. Um, I got like three baby sleepers. I think just that's all I got that day, that day, this day, today, literally like a few hours ago. Um, they're kind of more expensive, but they like, I like how they filter out the uh, baby stuff to, they won't put really nasty things on the floor which I've been to thrift stores where like I literally had a onesie that had poop on it in my hands I'm like really like you couldn't have washed this or something <laughs> or just not put it out just thrown it away like who donates that stuff is my question I'm more mad at who donated it than the company that puts it out on the floor um quality control though is a must and this store to savers um at least where I'm at does that and I appreciate it and I had coupons so I think I got three sleepers for like six dollars and something cents um which is great because baby clothes are expensive and like we've only bought two brand new things and everything else I've just thrifted and then we went to kid to kid which is like um basically like a play-doh's closet the once upon a child I've never actually been to a once upon a child I used to work at play-doh's closet so like I understand how all that works but like the kid to kid I don't know if once a child does this but um, all the onesies or like most of the onesies are only 99 cents. So I obviously go ham in there whenever I'm there. So I'm going to get those out here in a second when I go upstairs and then I'm going to wash them all and take inventory of what I have and then what I need left. I think I have all of the short sleeve onesies taken care of up to like nine months, which is great. We'll see though. My biggest thing was getting zero to three because I had like none and I know they're in that for a while. And I got, I probably only had like five to seven newborn onesies, but I heard that some babies don't even like, like they grow out of it before you even put them in it. Like they come out of the womb already in zero to three. So I knew I needed more zero to three than anything. And yeah. That's been my day so far. I'm so tired. I don't know if it's just like crashing from all that sugar. Um, or just like getting up early on like my day off. <laughs> I hate that I had to do on the, my day off. And I couldn't take time off work because I don't even want to get into it. But like where I work and like <laughs> I don't have time to take off. And I will, I'll lose my insurance if I do. So um, can't do that, which is unfortunate. Because like my last school that I worked at, I had like 36 sick days banked up that I could have used. Um, so had this been like a year earlier, it would have been fine. And I would have just taken a day off to do the glucose test, but couldn't do that. So that's where we're at. I'm excited to go wash the baby clothes. They're so cute. They are adorable. They're so tiny. Okay. Anyways, I'll show, I'll show them all to you. Um, they're in Randall's car right now though. And I don't know where he is. Like we went home at the same time, but I think I'm just a faster, better driver. So okay bye okay wanted to show everything i got i think we got 40 i just counted but my brain doesn't work all the time 46 pieces for no 36 no 38 for 46 dollars whatever something upper 30s for 46 dollars regardless that was really cheap i think compared to all of this That's everything. I'm going to go shower because I feel like when you've been in a hospital all day, you just feel 
grimy, even though it's a very clean place and I'm aware of that, like I get it. Um, but I need to shower and I need to take a nap or something before dinner tonight. So I'm just like crashing. Love you guys so much. See you guys soon. Bye. It's been two days since I've seen you. Um, would have saw you yesterday because my test results came in, but not only did it take me what should have taken a 20 minute drive to get to work, an hour and 40 minute drive to get to work because somehow people forget how to drive in the snow, which is so concerning to me because we live right next to mountains that are constantly covered in snow. Um, anyways, and then I forgot my phone. So <laughs> I got a voicemail saying, um, your test results are in, we want you to call us back. And by the time I got home to call back, they were closed. So. I don't love that. Like, that's concerning to me that they didn't just say, like, you're all good, no big deal on the voicemail, but maybe they just have a policy not to leave voicemails. I don't know. I gave them permission to, but that's fine. Uh, I'm getting more anxious because of this, though. So they open up in, like, 15 minutes, I think. That's when I'll give them a call and find out. We have an um, ultrasound and doctor appointment today, so... Um, if I do have gestational diabetes, I'm going to hopefully be able to come with like a list of questions. So timing wise, maybe it's better that I didn't find out until now, but hopefully it's good. But I, so I've been prepping like <laughs> all last night and today I'm like, this could be my last meal of like pre-diabetes, you know, being able to eat whatever you want. And so I got up early this morning to go to Starbucks and, um, they were closed for COVID. So hopefully they're fine, but <sighs> okay, gonna go inside. Love you, goodbye. Guess who doesn't have diabetes? This girl. <laughs> and I rewarded myself with a dark chocolate. So, I literally was like, I think I had mentioned this, dooms prepping, like, oh, today's my last day for this and my last day for this. Um, like I said, I tried to go to Starbucks, it was not open. They're closed for the next five days for COVID. That Starbucks will close a lot for COVID, so I think it's just filtering through their staff. Uh, yep, did not get my Starbucks, which is fine, because now I can I can just get it next week on whatever day. It doesn't matter, because I'm healthy. Um, I was stressing myself out. Like I think it's because I didn't leave a message just saying, like, your test results were normal. Um, I wish they would have. But I know some doctors just like to uh, have you hear it on the phone and not leave a voicemail but it would have helped me a lot, especially because I had an awful day yesterday. The getting to work was awful. Um, forgetting my phone was awful because I didn't even tell anyone, like, hey, I'm gonna be late. <laughs> I was just stressed. Um, and now that's one less thing on my plate. So I'm happy with that. Plus all the stuff that goes into gestational diabetes, like while yes, it normally goes away after you're done um, with your pregnancy, it's still something that is scary because there's like scary uh, things that could happen to baby. And um, it's just, you have to just track all day long. It just sounded exhausting. And not that like, I feel like I'm a pretty healthy person, like my diet is, um, but even some of the things in that diet, I was like, I'm gonna have to make a decent amount of changes, which was stressing me out because I'm like a creature of habit. I love ending the day with plain Greek yogurt with strawberries or blueberries and then putting like drizzling honey on it and some walnuts, like it's my favorite snack. And honey is a big no-no, <laughs> especially with um, diabetes. So I know that seems really minor, but like cutting out honey was stressing me out. <laughs> they make sugar-free honey, I already looked that up. I was, um, like I said, like deep into planning this. So, <sighs> no, I don't have to. Although it is always nice to have a healthy diet and I could probably still take some of those tips and like incorporate it because I do feel like weight gain, I've read so many things where like, you're not supposed to gain um, more than 20, 25 pounds in a pregnancy. And I don't like the 20 mark now. And I'm like, I still have 12 weeks to go. There, didn't, like, there's no way, like, baby itself is going to gain that five pounds because I think he's at two something right now. So, assuming he gains the five pounds, right, extra, making him like seven, eight ish pounds, there's no way I'm not going to gain more than that because, like, your placenta is growing, your, your, like, the fluids in your stomach. Like, I didn't, like, I haven't changed any, well, 
I have splurged a few more times than I normally would have. Like just a few, okay? <laughs> like I did get a couple of Dairy Queen. Maybe just one. I did get one Oreo Blizzard and then I did have a couple crumble cookies in the last few months, but not a lot, you know? And it's something I would have done before pregnancy too. Every once in a while I'll have like a cheat snack, you know, but it's not every day. Uh, but I'm gaining on it. But the thing is, like, I also haven't been working out the same. Like, I, I'm lucky if I go to the gym three times a week. Where I used to go, like, five to six times a week. So, like, that's changed. And I guess if you take out working out and you're eating the same, you are going to gain weight, aren't you? Because that's not evening out. So, uh, at the end of the day, I guess I deserve this weight gain. <laughs> I, I, like I said, I eat healthy. So, I guess I need to eat less. Because... I don't know. Do I need to eat less? Yeah, probably. I don't, or just like, hopefully I feel good enough to work out more and then this won't be a problem. And maybe I won't gain more than five more pounds, like 25. Like if I can max out at 25, that'd be great. I'm already expecting to be at like 30. We'll see. I have, I'm literally at my doctor right now. So um, I love getting on the scale every other week <laughs> because I always see the number going up. Even when I was puking every day, Actually, when I was puking every day, the number stayed the same. It didn't go down, which I was kind of expecting it to because I puked after every meal and it wasn't just like little pukes. But and I do have a fetus growing inside me too, so I was gonna gain weight at some point. After I stopped puking as much is when I immediately gained like 10 pounds, like within four weeks, so. Please, if you have kids, leave in the comments below how much weight you gained and either make me feel bad or <laughs> my friend's like, girl, I like gained 35 pounds and then she lost it all like within, I think six months afterwards. So I'm gonna, honestly, after birth is when I'm gonna be the hardest on myself. Right now, I, I'm just like, yeah, there's a baby in me. Like I'm gonna gain weight and I'm trying to be okay with it. But afterwards, if it doesn't come off quickly, I know that I'm going to um, be hard on myself for that. So I'm hoping after baby, my body feels well enough to like, obviously not right after, but start working out like regularly again. Cause right now I'm still in like, I'll get pukey every like few days and like have a throw up day and then I'll feel fine the next day or I'll go three days of throwing up and then I'll feel fine in like four days. Like it's just random. Uh, so I don't, I can't plan. I just hope that certain days I'll be able to work out. I worked out yesterday, worked out Sunday. I worked out yesterday and then, and then two days before that and then the day before that. So like it's, it's starting to get a little more consistent but it's still not like consistent. So anyways, I better go to my appointment. Um, just wanted to update you don't have gestational diabetes so that's a win um any of you that do or did get gestational diabetes if you want to leave in the comments below kind of like your experience with it especially if anyone's like watching this and um curious about other people's experiences i obviously can't give by now just the testing portion uh that would be wonderful and i will see you guys soon in another video probably like starting to do like nesting stuff as much as i can we don't have like a nurse. Well, we have an extra room. We're not going to turn into a nursery because we're going to end up moving, but we don't know where we're moving. So like, and it's going to be pretty soon after baby's born. So uh, that's going to be a whole nother fun journey. Okay. Love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.